Hello and a warm welcome back to uh, the next in my series of videos. Um, I'm Ellie Atchison El Masri, a contemporary artist working across a big range of media. And uh, I'm sorry for my, those of my regular viewers, um, thank you so much for your comments from previous videos. And I'm sorry there's been quite a long gap through the school summer holidays where I haven't made any videos, but I'm hoping now that September's here, um, even though it's halfway through September, that now there'll be a regular stream of videos for hopefully for your learning and inspiration perhaps, and uh, I really welcome your comments as we go along. Um, after such a long gap, I was like, what am I going to make a video about today? Because there seemed to be such a huge kind of backlog of ideas that I wanted to carry on with, and um, there's, there's a huge quantity of things that I want to touch on. Um, relating to the other videos I've already got up there. Um, but for today, I was thinking, well, one of the things I was doing quite a lot of during the summer, um, and even up, even ongoing, was um, going out into the field, we call it out into the field, or just going out and being ready to paint at any time, or ready to draw, or ready to, to make your art on the go. And I just wanted to share with you what I do about that, and maybe it's something that is useful or helpful for you to get going to, um, do some painting outside wherever you are um, and uh, so I'm going to take you through my travel pack which is kind of like a day-to-day -day -day pack really now um, if you're if you're cycling is something quite small so that's quite handy you can carry on the back of a bicycle or you know this is just a, a, a really old rucksack actually um, I prefer this could be a shoulder bag but it could be any kind of bag but I recommend something that's not too big because the bigger the bag the more you're going to want to put in it and then Kind of regret it when you're outside somewhere and maybe trekking you know to get somewhere where you want to make your art now um it's blowing a crazy storm here these last couple of days i think they've downgraded it from a hurricane but yesterday um i was in the studio and then i the sun came out and it was windy and glorious and i thought i'm just going to go up the coast and do some painting um by the sea because I, I just love to paint the sea i did quite a bit of it on holiday and just really really wanted to get, ca carry on that close relationship so I packed this and went up to Rosnaiga which is along the coast here on Anglesey but when I got there it was too wild <laughs> it was actually too too wild and in the end I just actually enjoyed a walk and took some photographs um, and couldn't kind of park the car it was so busy with windsurfers and really exciting scene that um, you couldn't get in a position really to be in the car or in shelter and do do the painting which of course is a, always an option parking up especially in the winter maybe and not sitting outside somewhere where you're where you're frozen anyway so this is my pack I'm just going to share with you um, what's in it um, those of you who've kind of followed followed me on Instagram over the summer will have seen um, I did quite a bit of watercolor painting and came um, and it's kind of interesting because when you go away, away somewhere, you maybe tackle something that you haven't done in a while or take up a method you haven't done in a while and then it kind of leads into another strand of work. So um, I'm going to be thinking about what I might do with these artworks um, uh, going forward this um, this autumn. So in here, um, I've just got just about got room for a fairly small watercolour pad and it could be a drawing book obviously, it could be a pastel book, it could be um, any of the sketchbooks we talked about in the previous, uh, previous videos but this is just a small um, uh, £140 weight pad and these are the ones that you can sort of just tear out so if I'm outside somewhere I can just do that and I'm kind of, I'm kind of ready to go, that's firm enough for me to use um, just like that and also in here I have um, oh this this is really handy I bought this ages ago and it's it's like a collapsible um, a collapsible water jug water water jar really now um, you can take a little a little jar like that which is a glass jar or a plastic beaker um, but it's obviously a little it's quite heavy you know um, so this this is really handy especially if you're out for quite a while because you can just like really um, you can use it like that so you can actually get it'll hold a lot of water so if you're doing quite big work with watercolor painting having clean water as I mentioned before is really important for the, for the freshness of the colors so um, that's quite quite handy but it also you can use it just sort of like that and it's already holding quite a lot of water um, just at that size and it's as light as a feather so those are really um, really handy to have um, so I keep that in there and I tend not to use that in the studio at all why would I bother so that just can just stay stay in there oh, it's got some it's got some sand <laughs> sand in there 
Um, what's that? That's a toilet roll. Yeah, that's a toilet roll. That's for ah, yeah. Um, I'll explain about that. Maybe not the obvious thing. Uh, here's my paint box, uh, which I showed you again on a previous previous video. Um, um, this goes with me everywhere. This went with me on holiday this year. I had no idea how much I would use it actually. I took all these coloured pencils and didn't touch them and I just used this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so um, that's the paint box. Now um, what happens is as you're painting, um, painting on this, um, it'll get quite dirty as you go along. So just having toilet, toilet paper, um, one, of the <laughs> one of its many uses is just, you know, when that, when that gets covered in paint, you can just wipe that off like that um, because you probably don't want to waste your water if you've got limited supply of water you can just wipe that and then you know put it in the bag and take it home and dispose of it um, and also the other thing was is um, and again I showed this on a previous video about painting skies I think it was uh, which I might redo because I realized that some of you wanted to see me working more directly on the paper um, uh, so this was also used for dabbing off, that process of dabbing off the watercolour. So having, having a toilet roll, you notice it's not the full one because again it's heavy and it's bulky, but uh, one kind of that size is really, really useful and you can also blow your nose and other things. Uh, a bottle of water, it doesn't have to be mineral water obviously, I tend to reuse these over and over and over again. Uh, and water, if you're Painting by a stream, by a river, you can use that water if it's reasonably clean, but we don't really want to use sea water because that will harm your brushes and harm the painting. So um, water, and if you're not going far, you don't have to fill the whole thing again. It's quite heavy and you're walking over, you know, maybe you're walking quite far to get somewhere. Um, that's up to you. Um, sometimes I take, if I'm going in the car, I'll have a big bottle, like a big litre bottle in the car and then you know, if I'm quite close to it, I can just return and, and replenish the water or go on somewhere else and get more water that way. Um, this is a brush holder. It's very light and this is, this is super handy. And inside here, I've got a few brushes. The ones I use, um, the kind of commonest sizes I'll use for that size of painting. So this is a nice big one. Um, is that about a size 10? That one's not actually marked. I think it's about a size 10. And maybe a little flat edged brush as well and then some slightly smaller sizes I've got a four and eight and something else a three so a range of sizes there and the good thing about that is I can't drop out if you're standing it up inside your bag just make sure that you have it like like that okay um, I used to have a bamboo holder which was quite good as well but I think it, it fell apart in the end so a brush holder is really handy. Um, if you haven't got a brush holder, um, you don't, it's not essential, obviously. Um, you can wrap things with some cardboard and an elastic band. Um, the other thing that you can do is just with one of your medium sized brushes, um, you can just put, I think this one, I had this one in yesterday actually, just put that in there in the middle. Um, so it's just there ready for you to use. Um, and the important thing is try not to get the brush bristles bristles, <laughs> bristles squashed down in any way because um, obviously it's not so easy to get them nice and perfect again. And I also have socks in there. Um, oh yeah, it's transition season, right? You go out and it's warm and then you find you get cold. So I have socks there in my bag as well. Um, uh, I think that's all the main things that I have. Ah, now also, um, sometimes I take one of these, <laughs> which I can squash up and it's slightly waterproof and it's a cushion, it's obviously it's a seat cushion for garden furniture. Um, you can get all these portable seats and things like that, but very often, especially if you're in the countryside, you're not on flat ground, you might just be wanting to sit on a rock. Um, and so I might take something like this um, just to sit on, especially if it's still warmish weather, because otherwise I might be sitting on my coat goes down that far and I don't need anything. But if I'm sitting on a rock, then it's going to be cold and uncomfortable. And the idea is you, you stay as comfortable as you possibly can for a while. Um, and the other thing I've also got, which um, this is looking a bit old and battered and lo much loved, <laughs> is uh, a folio. And this is a cardboard one. And this um, is really useful for holding paintings um, that, are, that are dry anyway. So it's a kind of carrying case. Um, but the other thing, it, it acts as a good board for you. Um, so a kind of 
extra board surface so I might work like that instead and that, that is then really quite sturdy for working on. Um, so that's what I take with me when I'm, when I'm going out. Um, if I'm in the mood for painting, if I was doing drawing or something else I'd take some other kinds of things which I might show on another occasion. Um, guys, I welcome your comments and feedback. Thank you so much for all your follows so far. I've had a few inquiries about um, uh, private tuition and instruction and um, I'm going to be putting on, they'll be down below, you'll find there's some links um, and I'm going to be putting some information on my new website there to help you even perhaps do some Skype lessons if you're interested in that. Please do get in touch with me, feel free. You can direct message me on Instagram. I'm Ellie Atchison Almasri. Thanks so much for watching.